My name's Dick. How you doing, Dick? I've been a believer for 20 years, but uh -huh. uh, a solid believer for the last uh, 10, 15 years. Okay. I was a serial killer for 40 years of my life. Uh, what do you mean by serial killer, Bill? Serial okay. killer, I killed relationships. I see. I left a trail of broken relationships, children without both parents, uh -huh. and uh, wives feeling alone and lost. Okay. And until I finally decided to surrender and and give it up doing my way uh -huh. and praying on my knees to the Lord Jesus Christ to reveal himself to me, uh -huh. nothing happened. Okay. And after I did that, uh, ironically, three days later, the Lord revealed himself to me. And How did he reveal himself to you? Uh, in words, in my mind. Okay. I had uh, audible voices. Just received. No, they're not audible words. Okay. Just an just impression in your mind. An impression in my mind. Okay. It was very definite words, though. Okay. I had just received papers from uh, the last wife at the time. Uh huh. Um, divorce papers, and they wanted the world. A visitation was going to suck. Okay. And I was really PO'd. Car? And uh, I had been, I was on my way to the Christian bookstore and I got stuck in the left hand turn lane. It seemed like an eternity. And all of a okay. sudden, if you want to have peace, don't fight. Uh, if you want to have peace, don't fight. Okay. If you want to have peace, and don't fight. And that was fight. the voice of God to you? To me, that was the voice of God because okay. I was in a fighting mood. It was okay. totally against any human thing that I was feeling at the time. I see. And I went and sat in that parking lot and just bawled because I believed that I had heard from God. Uh huh. I went home that night. I wrote a letter to the wife. Okay. And I asked her to please put it in writing, whatever it is you want in this divorce. Uh huh. To write it down, give it to your attorney, have him type it up, and I will sign it. Oh, okay. I mailed it the next morning. I almost didn't. I was thinking this is either the smartest thing you've ever done or the dumbest thing you've ever done. Okay. Dick. And it turned out to be the smartest thing I ever did. Okay. I had absolute peace from that day on. Okay. I was actually divorced for a whole month before I even knew it. Uh huh. On speaking terms, amenable with the ex, with the now ex-wife. Okay. And. When I found out that I was divorced, when I got the papers in the mail, I was angry. Okay. For about 10 minutes. And okay. I realized the only difference between now and a month ago is I know. Okay. I didn't know. Okay, so that's your evidence for believing in God? That's my evidence. And I have had absolute peace for a good six or eight months. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm an atheist and I'm begging you to tell me why I should believe, to give me evidence for believing too. So no one can accuse you of proselytizing or try to impose your views on me. I'm inviting you to. Well, sir, you seem rather happy uh -huh. and, and uh, kind of proud about being an atheist. Uh huh. And uh, I think that uh, you will have to find yourself on some real hard times when you come to the point where you don't have any answers. Your answers aren't working. I see. I see. And you've tried everything that you can do. Uh -huh. And uh, then maybe you'll get on your knees so and you, you ask think... the Lord Jesus Christ for His appearance in your life. So you think people are incomplete, basically, until they find Christ? I think we human beings believe that we want to believe that we can do it, that we're all there is and there's nothing more. I see. Uh, a lot of people believe that uh, if, if they um, uh, give up their life, so to speak, uh -huh. and, and to Jesus and become a Christian, that he's going to control your life. That's not true at all. Okay. You still have the same okay. uh, ability to make choices, yay or nay, about things. Okay. But what well, I'm happens asking you, is you find I'm out... I'm still that, asking you why I should believe. What happens is you find out that life works much better. Uh -huh. His way. I see. The the Bible is is not just a book that uh, you're going to go to hell if you don't believe or, or okay. whatever. There's... I got to change batteries.
You really got yes. still have will. As as a Christian, you still have free will. You uh -huh. still you've always had free choice, and you always will have free choice. Okay. Um, you may choose to make different choices. Uh -huh. um, the Bible is is a, a lot of it for me is uh, the the history of it and so forth in, in the Old Testament. Okay, now remember, you're Testament. trying to tell me why I should believe. It's about how to have a better life. Okay, so I'll have a better and, life if I believe. And you can have a changed life if you uh -huh. choose to. Uh-huh. Your attitude will change. I see. Um, your heart will change toward a lot of things. Things that your heart was hard to okay. will become soft, even if you don't ask for that okay. to happen. Now, I talk to a lot of believers. Basically, you're telling me you believe because of personal experience. Correct. Okay. I talk to a lot of believers, and a lot of people believe a lot of different things, and they say the same thing. How do you know? Well, here's what, here's what I'm, I'm asking myself. Either God just goes around touching everybody, regardless of what they believe, all right, or everybody's believing the truth, even though it's all different somehow, or people are just touching themselves. I, How would you feel belief, about that? My belief is that uh, God puts himself out there through Jesus Christ uh -huh. and that you can make a choice. I see. You can believe what you want to believe. You believe what you want to believe? Yes. Okay. Nothing true? However, if everything that's in the Bible is true, uh -huh. um, believing whatever you want to believe, if it doesn't include Jesus Christ, you may not find yourself in heaven. I see. I see. So I should believe in Jesus so I can go to heaven, right? Uh, for eternity. For eternity. Okay, um, how, do you, how do you know anybody goes anywhere What happens when you die? Well, so I'm going to ask you. What, what happens when you well, die? Well, according to science, dead people What's aren't just happen? merely dead, but really dead. According okay. to science. There's no, there's no evidence that anyone does anything after they die, but feed worms or bacteria or whatever. What happens to your spirit? Uh, there's no evidence we have a spirit, sir. Uh, I beg to differ with you. Okay. Fine. Do you have any evidence that anything of a human being lives on beyond the grave? Ever has, ever will? I have no evidence. Okay. Other than spirit can live on. And, and you get that belief from? I think from my own experience, um, from uh, well, a couple of different books I've well, read Well, you, you couldn't have experience unless you've been beyond the grave. So, you, you haven't any, had any experience unless you're telling I me you're reincarnated or something I haven't had any experience like beyond the grave. You okay. Know, I, that's very and true. And do you trust accounts of, of experience beyond the grave? I know I, there are some. But... I trust some of the accounts of experience okay. beyond the grave. Okay. There's, that's that's there's, evidence for you. That's there's evidence. too many of them, and mm -hmm. they pretty much all say the same thing, and uh, most of them have never read anything. Are you familiar with an experiment that, that <coughs> excuse me, they did an experiment in L.A. in a shock trauma center where they have a lot of people that are coded and brought back to life and that kind of thing. They have a sign up on top of a cabinet, an electronic sign that faces up and a computer that changes the name, the word on the sign, every day. Uh-huh. And so when people say they came back from the other side and that they floated in the room, they always ask them what's on the sign. Okay. And no one's ever been able to tell you what was on the sign. And these were people that say they floated in the room? Right. They, were they, the they had the after-death experience, and they, they... I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, they did that in L.A. at a shock trauma center. I'm, I'm not and no one's got that. the sign yet. And anyway, it's been going for several years. So that's their evaluation. And, and they've been able to reproduce beyond death experiences in labs by doing things to people's brains, stimulating certain areas, that kind uh -huh. of stuff. They've been able to do that. Been able to recreate the same experiences without people dying. Okay. Um, for what it's worth. You, so you don't believe that we have a spirit? I see no evidence. Mm -hmm. Of, a, of, a, of anything supernatural within the human being. So you believe that, uh, well I cut my thumb, I almost cut it off with a table saw here okay. a month or so ago. Right. And, and it's healed uh -huh. and there is a little scar there. Right. Do you believe that the cells that 
in the blood that came into this area just magically made skin? No, you have a natural process for healing. Have a natural process for healing. Where might that have come from? Uh, nature. nature. All, all creatures heal. Some things. Some creatures heal a lot some, more than we do. Some heal differently. Lizards can some lose their can tail. Re regenerate parts. Right. We can't. We can't. So we have, and yeah, and there's a lot of parts so of you us think, that do you regenerate. think that just by, I, I'm assuming you believe in evolution. Uh-huh. That do just you, by evolution. Well, I don't use the word, I don't use the word believe. I use the word selection. think. I use the word think. Thing. I think. I think. think. I think scientists are correct in their uh, uh, in their understanding of where we came from in terms of a species, in terms of how the human species arose. I think they're correct. What do you think? I believe that uh, evolution evolution is taking place in the human species right now. Okay. But do you think and we descended from primates? I don't think we descended from primates. Okay. Okay, I presume you're a creationist. I certainly am a creationist. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm, I also guess... There's, there's too much that I know about uh, medicine, science... So you're a scientist? ...to uh, not believe. I was a dentist in my work life. Oh, okay. Okay. So, and, uh, so you credit all the good things about the human body to some sort of supernatural design? Designer? Yes, I do. Okay. I do. Okay. I so, have, so I why give no God? Problem with why that. did God give better eyes to octopuses than He did to human beings? I didn't know that He did. Octopuses live down deep in the dark. They need better eyes. Oh, okay. If you lived in the dark, you'd probably have better eyes. Yeah, too. but we're 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 apparently the crown of creation. So why didn't we get the best eyes? Because you have light. Okay. You have the light of the sun. So, so you could every, have the light of the Lord Jesus Christ every, in you if you let it be there. Okay. Whatever you want to say, you got 60 seconds. Say whatever you want to say. You can have peace. Okay. You can quit fighting the Lord. All right. You can give up atheism. Okay. You can have a changed life. Okay. All you need to do is get on your knees and ask the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart. All right. With a sincere heart, not a half-ass heart. Okay. A whole heart, a burning heart, a yearning heart. And, and you can experience the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. Now, give me, give me a reason why I should believe you're correct. Try it, and you'll find out. Okay. So you don't have next any. Time your you don't have is, any objective evidence. Next time your life is in the sewer, nothing is working. You can't tell day from night. You're nervous. You can't relax. Uh huh. You can't have a life. You can't sleep. Try it. Okay. And you'll find peace. Very good. Thank you. Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Thank you. Hallelujah.